Hello everybody! I have a haul video for you guys. So this is a countertop haul or a tabletop haul. These are items that we got from the red, white, and blue thrift store. And I wanted to come on here and show you guys what we found. So red, white, and blue in the the way of like knickknacks. Uh, this particular day, I didn't find much, but I found so many bags of craft supplies. So if you guys like craft stuff, make sure you stay tuned for that because I'll share with you guys some of the stuff that came in there. Okay, so you guys saw this grab bag in the video of this nativity. There is a couple of little broken bits in there, but I got it anyway because that looks pretty cool. Um, the red tags weren't on sale. It was, it was green, white, yellow, and blue, not red. So I got that. I got this uh, Orby ball thing. Because I have a little stand. Hopefully I didn't get rid of it. But I have a little stand. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, that I want to make for you guys to do like a uh, crystal ball as a giveaway. So, um, yeah. So I picked that up for that. Then I got a Spode Christmas tree plate. We saw these a couple of... Uh, this one says 19... Oh, it's a copy of 1938. Uh, a couple of videos back and we didn't grab it but I looked it up and like I said before if you can get like the different shaped items they sell better so um, Aaron spotted it and it was a sale item so we went and we picked that up I snagged this off of a cart that they were just bringing out and I was so sad because at the same time oh here let me show you though it's uh it says hand painted Austria on the bottom and this is their, they always do this. It's their codes for their pricing. Um, but I like whoever was pricing stuff back there this particular time because um, the stuff seemed more reasonable uh, than, you know, we've been seeing 30 to $50 things come out. Um, so then there was this one. Now this, her colors and how she was made was kind of interesting now, I couldn't really make out what it said on the bottom. I think it's like Goffini. I don't know. Something. Memories. You see that? Handmade in Spain. So, it looked just looked really nice. Um, I liked those colors. So, I picked that up. And I, I said in the video I'm going to go look things up. But I really didn't because everything was pretty well priced. We got this grab bag. These are called jewel brights these vintage ornaments so i grabbed the whole bag of that and those were on sale this one had a glass crab in it had a little vintage pick and it had like a cloisonne little crab that there's an elephant in there but that might be broken so picks that up and then I couldn't think of it in the video. I was like, gosh, it's a it's a cat like someone I know. And I've sold so many of her things, but it's Laurel Birch. <laughs> I couldn't remember the lady. I mean, this, I can't say this is because there's people that recreate her cat art. Um, but that's what that reminds me of. We also found a couple of glass Christmas trees. Aaron found those. He found most of the, the knickknacks this time. Uh, he got these two, I don't know what kind of birds they would be, like a peacock. But they are marked Tanala, Mexico. It says Santana on the bottom. Uh, and of course, even though, like, this is rough, it has no sealer. So I don't know if I'll be able to get that off. Sometimes I have to tell people in the eBay listings, like, listen, there's Sharpie on the bottom. This is what it is. Can't get it off. If, unless I make it worse. <laughs> Then we picked up a Fenton bear. These are their birth month bears. So this is like July or what's the other one? There's July and something for Ruby and Garnet. I don't know. One of those bears. I grabbed a bag of candles because this one, these candles were actually pretty cool. Normally when I see their bags of candles, I'm like, the colors aren't, they're just plain blah, like like vanilla colored, you know, or I keep seeing bags of red candles and I'm like, nothing. Oh, that one's broken. I said, not everything looks good with a red candle. So got some white, got some purple, got some green. 
So those should be okay to share with you guys things that take candles. <laughs> um, that's more craft stuff. Okay, so then we picked up off camera. I got a grab bag. I'm pretty sure I wasn't filming of um, watch bands. And there was, I looked through the bag and I saw this and I'm like, okay, well, maybe these will fit our Apple watches. And they did. I actually have, if I can pull my sleeve up enough, this one on. So they fit our watches. So, oh, Aaron didn't take the plastic off there. <laughs> um, there was a couple of them, like this one for the guys. He has one on. And then the rest of them were all Fitbit uh, watch bands. So we ended up, there were two different kinds in there. We ended up um, sending them um, for my mom to be able to check and see if they will go with her watches. And if not, I'll just list the lot on eBay if they don't fit her stuff. Then I got Berry Waffle Cone uh, Bath and Body Works Hand Cream. It was so funny because I, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like an Alex Day. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> we got two of these. One of them is in my shower right now. These are Philosophy brand. And I was telling you in the haul video, and I'll link the haul video above if you, or the haul video, the shop with me. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it above. But um, a lot of these things, see it says right there, that little... See that jar with the, right there? So this is good for 30 months after it's already open. So a lot of these have that. So you'll want to check if it's opened, been opened or not. These hadn't been opened. So, and these are expensive. They sell these at places like Ulta and Sephora. Um, I don't know if Target started selling them, but yeah, Philosophy is an expensive brand. And this is a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I was just using them as bubble bath. So um, got that. And then I picked up a Bath & Body Works Fresh Cut Lilacs uh, Fragrance Mist. And I love that candle. But they must have um, made it into some body care since I've been gone. <laughs> we picked up this Stone Elephant. Oh, this has my says jewelry but that's not jewelry this was on here but they do sell it in the jewelry section so maybe that's it all the they have the um, body care like this this does this say jewelry yep hanging or sitting in baskets underneath this wall of necklaces so that makes sense oh about to drop it then we have this elephant that's like carved like inlaid stone Oh, that was neat. I picked up this. I did really well. Bianca and I were at a Goodwill, oh gosh, a couple years ago now. And I can't open it. It's on hand. And in a bin at Goodwill, like in their back bin, it was in their purse bin, there was a pen set. And I was like, hmm. I looked it up. I'm like, these sell okay. And I did really well with it. It was only $1.98. And I think I sold it for like $40 or $50. But it's marked cross. And then that says 14 karat gold filled. So I don't know if it's probably this one. Unless this has some information on it. But I went ahead and got them even though they were $7.99. Um, like I said, I did well. And there's a lot of pen collectors out there. Or as I like to call myself, a pen nerd like me. So there is that. What else? Oh, Okay, so I was going to tell you a story when I broke off from here. So this cart was coming out, and there was another guy there um, that you could just tell was a reseller. Um, yeah, some, some people don't give us resellers a very good reputation, and those are the ones that you can usually tell. But anyways, you could tell he was, and he comes and he grabs this beautiful teapot. Look at this thing. It has an engraved G right there. And then on the other side, it's engraved October 6th, 09, like 1909. So, and um, it's a Reed and Barton uh, teapot. But anyway, so he grabs this right away. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And I picked this up and grabbed that right away. And then I had gra grabbed this base because I thought, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then I saw that the base had this like latch and stuff. I'm like, oh no, it's missing something. I don't know what that would have went with. Um, so then I see the man. See, it's it can separate. See, 
I see the man over when I'm paying and he's standing over to the side and he's, I guess, like on a Zoom call or something and he's talking to, um, not a Zoom call, but you know what I mean, like a FaceTime. He's talking to whomever he's shopping for and he's showing them like, like this, like on camera. And I guess they said no. And he put everything down and I turned around a second time and he walked away from everything. So he had this whole cart full of stuff and then he left everything on a table and then he gets in line with one thing in his hand. But moral of the story is I ran over and got the teapot. And then I said, oh my gosh, it goes to that base because I saw, I saw the hinge. See this? Oh my gosh, I can't do it with one hand. But this hinge right here is attached to this base. And um, on this coffee pot, it has another piece of a hinge where they lock together like a puzzle piece, and then this slides in. So I'm like, holy crap, they go together. So I had to go grab it, and um, I made it in time because she had to go find more paper to wrap our stuff. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool that I was able to get that. He decided he didn't want it, and I went and snagged it. <laughs> okay, so fast forward to the craft stuff. If you don't like craft stuff, you guys can move on. Feel free, um, but I do have quite a bit. So quite a few of the bags. Um, I think this was the second most expensive, but most of them were $2.99. And if any of you know how much craft supplies are, you will flip your lid. So a lot of them had um, like stamps and matching dies. If you get stamps like this, I promise you, you go on these people's websites. Like if you go, what is this, Polka Doodles? I've not looked it up, but I guarantee you this is between maybe $12 and $16, this ldrscreative.com. So it's a little Darlings rubber stamp company, but um, so just one, like this right here. I mean, some of these, this is the thing. Like someone was talking to me about um, the craft stuff at the store. So some of them to me of the things that are donated are uh, like outdated. And yes, I like vintage stuff and I like antiques and things like that. But in the way of this kind of stuff, it's not, some of it's just not my style. So even though it's craft stuff at the store, if it's outdated, I don't, I don't buy it. I leave it for someone else that wants it. Um, but since these grab bags are mixed and they have a mixture of things in them, I usually pick them up. So like these are totally my jam. Like I love these little girls. And look, it even comes with the matching die, which means you can cut them out if you have the machine. So, I mean, I was, I, I like, I couldn't believe it. So I t literally turned the camera off when you guys saw me finding, um, like some craft stuff. See like this, it's cute, but I don't think I would use it. So I would resell this. So that's what I would do. Even this guy, even though it's a cutesy puppy. And it comes with a die. I would probably resell it because that's not really my thing. And then it had some embossing folders. And then here's a little Christmas set. This one is really cute. Love the weekend. And then this is um, Hero Arts. This one is a photopolymer stamp set, which makes it more expensive uh, if you bought it at the store. This is a giant thing of dies which means it will cut and it's to the size it's actual size and we'll cut that out here's another die and it will cut those out i mean these you go to hobby lobby and this is like 29.99 it's crazy so and then there's a bunch of paper in there so i was so i couldn't believe it that they were only 2.99 i mean i paid which was fine with me i thought it was still a good deal 7.99 for bags that were filled with stampin' up clear stamps and stuff. So, I mean, this has just all kinds of stuff in here. Like, look at this one. This one's by Candy Bean, and it's a little kitty in a hydrangea plant. And I think this was the only thing I saw that it's a dye, but you could tell this was like a sentiment, like, you know, could have said happy birthday or something, but the stamp wasn't in here. It wasn't included. So, but it's just filled with stuff. 
they're, I mean, so full with things. So $2.99 for those. And then these are bags that I just opened and I got rid of the bag. So let me give you an example. So while these are cute, it's just not my thing. I don't do anything with babies. I really don't do, I just don't. So, um, yeah, even when my kids were babies, like I just didn't, this might be cool for Halloween or something. So that, then there was a lot of like these, uh, Teresa Collins photo albums, these little albums. I opened one for Bianca for her to see if she wanted it, but the adhesive is old on those. These aren't really my style either. So maybe the only thing I would keep out of this whole thing is that solid heart. Because to me, that's sort of timeless. You know, you can tell um, that they're older in style. And see, same with this. It's cuter, and it was $5.95 on its own. It's just not my style. Then I was so excited. There was Tim Holtz inks in there. There was some Stampin' Up! inks in there. And I about, like exorcist my head when I saw these this gray barrel I thought oh my gosh did I just find Copic markers but it's Michael's version artist loft of Copic markers <laughs> and we have some seashell dyes um sunny studio these are a more expensive stamp company online and then these I think are all acrylic stamps so um you guys can't really see that Oh, some Stampin' Up! markers were mixed in there. There's, it's like a holiday set there. And then, thank you set. Now they're like, just sentiments. Sentiments are always good to have. See, this is, that's more my thing. Like this. Um, Even this, as pretty as this is, I would probably have to, I would probably have to try it. Maybe I could make it look like watercolor. But it just, I don't see it being my style like my thing. Like I don't see myself using it. And it's an expensive brand. Um close to my heart. So now I like tropical stuff. Like I love tropical leaves, so I can see myself using that. Christmas, I can see myself using that. Now, this was the most expensive bag. It was 9.99, and I bought it because in one of the bags, do I even have it out here? I don't. It's all on my desk, I think. I think in one of the bags was a uh, a tape runner tool. And I was like, oh, <clears throat> I see. They put the tape runner in a different bag and then put all the refills in this bag. But no, they didn't. Each box is its own tape runner. So it's the tape runner. And you just roll it across like this and it puts tape down. Um, but I kind of got away from using tape runners. I kind of just like some liquid glue. It kind of sticks better. Um, so this might be in a lot on eBay. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, afterwards, I'm like, why'd you buy that, Alex? You use liquid glue. So here's some Stampin' Up! stuff, probably just because I found it, you know? <laughs> Stampin' Up! markers. This was a We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Tool set that you could make foil pockets and things, which was neat. That was in the bags. There's a stamp set for, like, uh, scrapbooking. See, now here again, these aren't really my style, like my kind of art. And there's a lot of people that don't like cutesy stuff at all. They, they It's just not their thing. Um nope so even the stuff that I like other people don't like this is a corner rounder so it would make the corner of your paper look just like that got some stamp sponges and some more stamps that were in there I got this paper trimmer this little guillotine guillotine paper trimmer some stamps and dies this is a newer stamp company Newton's Nook um she, her cat, Newton, um, who she named the company after. So those are, I mean, I was just so excited because these are stuff that's out right now type of thing. And they're in the store. This is MFT, which is my favorite things, which is a store that's actually local here. And then embossing folders, all to new. That one um, is a new company. 
So that's like dies, dies. And then this Santoro die set was $30. And this one, you just cut the colored papers and you piece her together like that. And then there was a self-healing mat. But there's just, I got so many things. And I just couldn't believe that, that the bags were like $2.99, $2.99, $2.99. Oh my gosh. So, like I said, this one. Um, but this was a, it was, this was, two of the colors were 25% off, two were 50% off. And I can't remember which colors were which. But this was a sale color. White was a sale color. Red was not. So, so cheap and then they were on sale. I mean, oh my gosh, crazy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Um, I'll make sure I'll link the thrift with me um, in there in the video somewhere in here. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.